everybody and welcome back it's me Charles and first I want to say Merry Christmas uh, and happy holidays to everybody who is currently celebrating with their families who is able to celebrate with the families online or in person um, wanted to wish you guys the best hopefully everybody was on the nice list and was able to get everything that they wanted um, and if you were on the naughty list well hope uh, it was worth it uh, so if you haven't already, please make sure that you watch other videos. Make sure that you give it a thumbs up and that you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any future episodes. I want to thank you guys so much in advance. It does really, really help me out a lot. I am putting that out. And today I want to go ahead and um, I want to go ahead and talk about what I got for Christmas, or what I should say, something that was gifted to me. It is the small but mighty um, premium collection set. A really good friend of mine gave me this. So let's go ahead and dive right into it. I don't know if it fits into the whole screen here, but I'm very, very excited because for starters, it does come with a little set on here, as you can see. Uh, it comes with Cleffa, Togopi, and Igglybuff. Um, which is pretty pretty exciting because I don't have that yet and it does come with the keychain. Uh, this keychain will be the third keychain that I own. I do have the Pikachu and the Mimikyu set and it also comes with the Pokecoin um, that pretty much features all three of them and it comes with this adorable pretty little card on here that I'm gonna go ahead and get out so that you guys can see that. Um, it is the Togepi, Clefi, and Igglybuff GX card. Honestly, it's pretty pretty good. It is a fairy, I believe, that they added to it. Look at how gorgeous those three are. They're just so beautiful. And then it's even more cute knowing that Igglybuff is a little furry there with a the little hair and a little swirl on top. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and dive right into this. Um, where are my, uh, see, whenever you need them, the scissors are never available. But uh, share with me, what exactly did you guys get for Christmas? Or what exactly did you ask for? Uh, you know, what, what, what did you ask St. Nick? If you wanna say, you know, and it, did his little helper deli birds bring it to you? Uh, we're gonna get, open this right up. And as you can see, it does come with quite a bunch here. Uh, it does come with 10 booster packs on here. Um, go ahead and show you guys a little bit better without so much of that glare on there. Let me take this part off. It does come with 10 booster packs. Comes with the Darkness of Blaze set. It comes with Sword and Shield, uh, Sword and, uh, Sun and Moon, Crimson. Oh, I'll show you guys in just a moment. We'll go ahead and get this little beauty out. And... Here we have a code card. Go ahead and put that to the side. Uh, and once again, I forgot to take out my sleeves. But look at this. Oh, look at how gorgeous that is. You can tell me they're not beautiful with all the different Pokeballs and little berries they're surrounded with. Just gorgeous. And here are the Go ahead and take out the little poker coin and show you guys how beautiful this shines. Look at that, and it's pink. Go ahead and get the little, little keychain out. Look at that, how cute. Look at those big old bubbly eyes. Put that to the side, and the most important this little collectible pen that I get to add to the list of pens that I own. How beautiful that is. So we're gonna go ahead and get all of the packs out. We'll start off with the ones right in front. We're gonna cut, it's gonna come with two Darkness Ablaze booster sets. Or I should say, yeah, booster packs on here. You have one Sword and Shield Rebel Clash. It's going to come with two Sun and Moon Burning Shadows, a regular, two regular Sun and Moon, 
This one has the Decidueye and this one has Lunala in it. It's gonna come with one basic sword and shield, one Sun and Moon Crimson Invasion, and an X and Y Steam Siege, which I have been trying to get the um, Steelix from those ones, and still no luck. I'm still trying to pull one for my friend and I still haven't been able to get that out. So we're just gonna go ahead and randomly open these. Go ahead and put those aside. We start off, I guess we're gonna go ahead and start off with the Darkness of Blaze. Pretty, pretty exciting. Now, I'm not too worried about this one because I know I'm not going to be getting any of the Obstagoons, any Leanoons and or Galarian Leanoons or any of the Sixagoons on there. <laughs> if you saw my last video, you are gonna see how they are haunting me. Here is a code card. Put that to the side. This is gonna be a water energy. Oh, it's a psychic energy. All right, start off with psychic. We have a Lunatone. Perfect to go with that psychic. A Dartrix. Go ahead and put that one aside. I am trying to build a, a grass deck. Glimwood Tangle. A Trap Hinch. I'm not really the greatest fan of this, as you can see. I am not too fond of knitted cards or knitted art per se. A Jigglypuff, perfect to come with this set. Ducklet, I'll show you guys a little bit better here. I'll zoom in for you guys so you guys can see a little bit better. A Carablast, there with the morning sun. A Galarian Darumaka, how cute. And a Reverse Hollow Decidueye. Would you look at that? Just when I wanted to build a deck, it's 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 meant to be. I am meant to make uh, this grass deck. It is a Reverse Hollow, and we're gonna go ahead and end this pack with a. Sunny Scorch of Beanax. Wow. Look at that. Sunny Scorch is one of the few Pokemon that, well, when it started, uh, that it came with its own, um, it did have its own Gigantamax form, which changed. How great. And the borders seem to be pretty, pretty nice. Pretty, pretty cool. Look at that. But wow, this is beautiful. Once again, it sucks that I don't have the, I'm gonna go ahead and put the CGI and Dark Tricks right here. That was a very, very nice pool. Was not expecting that. I'll go ahead and put those over here. Let's go ahead and open our second Darkness Blaze. That is a blessing or either pretty much saying this is the only good pool you're gonna get. So you can stop right here. Here is a code. Get that started. Does a side. We start off with grass energy and it's a metal. Good. Try to zoom in for you guys there. A vanillish. A clang. A Gotharita. This is one of the humanoid psychic Pokemons that exist out there right next to um, Gardevoir and Jinx, which is an ice and a psychic type, I think is as well. I might be wrong. Pan Sage, Electric, a Fletchling, a Galarian Mr. Mime. Look at that. Compared to its counterpart, a Kanto Mime. Definitely a little bit different on there. And the Galaria version actually does have an evolution. A Torchic. I adore this Pokemon and it's one of my top favorites because it evolves into Blaziken, which is one of my top, top tier favorite Pokemon, but not a fond of the little clay figurine there. And wow. A no wait, did I pull up? 
Oh, I sure did. We have a regular and we are also going to have a reverse hollow vanny lish there. And we're going to go ahead and end this out with a hollow tie Brenatar. Look at that. Wow. How nice this looks. That pose. It was this card specifically was made to shine. How nice is that? Wow, this is this is very very nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that one out over there to the side. And because this one was also a darkness and blaze, I'll put those together with this one here. I try to keep all of my sets separate. And now we are gonna go ahead and get into the Rebel Clash. And like I said, I've never had the best of luck in opening these in one go. I'm scared that if I end up using some scissors that I'm gonna go ahead and cut through the cards. It's happened before to some other people that haven't really been careful, but I mean, it is what it is, right? A little bit closer for you guys. We're gonna go ahead and do a little card trick and start off with a water energy and it's a water energy, which you guys look at that. Hopefully it's something good. All right, we're gonna have a more gram, palpy toad, scoop up net, a dreepy, a magmar, a yeah, Galarian yeah mask. Look at that. Skit, a stuffle. Look at it. Look at it. Just trying to wash his berries there. How adorable is that art? Let's just sit here and admire this for a second. Sorry. Look at that. And we're gonna go ahead and have a reverse hollow Barascuda. Look at that. Pretty, pretty nice. And we're gonna go ahead and end this one off with a. Clefable, a reverse Clefable. I believe the f I did end up pulling a Clefairy on the other one. All right, moving on. We're gonna go ahead and get the Steam Siege one. I believe this one's trick is only three cards. Let's hope so. Otherwise, I'm definitely gonna go ahead and mess that one up. Go ahead and get this little code for you. And we're gonna go ahead and start off with three. Let's hope that's how it is. We have a Nidorino, Pokemon Ranger, a Rapidash, a Bergmite, Fungus, once again, not a fan of the clay art, a Mankey, a Shellos, a Dino, pretty nice and a reverse hollow larvesta. I don't really understand this art too much with a leaf background, look at that. And ending it off with a hollow um, pharaohs. Look at that, pretty, pretty nice. Just there waving and saying goodbye to whom we don't know. Moving on to the Sun and Moon Crimson Invasion. And here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and say a Psychic, and it's a Grass. There we go, we have a Staravia, Psychic Memory, an Axogore, Another Stuffle, a Cacnea just minding its business in the desert, a Star you, a Classic, a Ghastly, an Aeron, and a Reverse Hollow Milotic. Milotic with a water energy background. It's a Milotic or Milotic, which one is it? How do you pronounce it? And ending this off with A. Altaria non hollow. I already have one. I put one in the last video that I had. Should have been a hollow, but it is what it is. What are you gonna do about that, you know? 
All right, and getting on to the next one. This one's going to be the regular sword and shield base set. I hate it when they don't really open up really quickly because then there's a chance of you bending the cards, especially if the cards like are at the bottom or wherever you open them at and you're trying to kind of like force them. I've bent a few before already. And here, oop, here we go. And this one's gonna have a water and it's a lightning. Oh, I think I have them all backwards. A dollar, look at that. Potion, a Hitmochan with a Hitmolee in the back. A Shelter, a Krogunk, a Silly Cobra, <laughs> a Silly Cobra, a Minchino, a Vopix, just minding its business, a Reverse Hollow Minchino, which we just got its original, as you guys can see here, look at that. And then it off with a Galarian Rapidash, a non hollow so mm, look at that pretty majestic there if i do say so myself such a beautiful unicorn and moving on this is going to be a regular uh sun and moon day set and a code for y'all there Oh, I forgot to call it and I saw it. It was too late. Starting off with a fire energy, a Krug Rock, a Puku Muku, a double colorless energy. Pretty good if you want to go ahead and get that in a deck. A Grubbin, a Fero, a Snowball. Sand Dial, which I'm guessing now that I do have the Krokorok, guy am missing the last of its evolution line. A Piggy Pack, a Reverse Hollow Litten, and we're gonna go ahead and end this one off with a Stoutland Non Hollow. Oh, that was pretty sad and disappointing. Um, moving on, we're gonna go ahead and continue opening the other Sun and a Moon. Here is the code for you guys there. Sorry. It's very hard to get that in frame, you know? And we're gonna start with a metal energy and it's a dark energy. All right, here we go. We have gonna have a Corsola, Ultra Ball, a Pelipper, a Lillipup, which now we only need the middle evolution for me to have the complete line. A Bone Sweet. This reminds me of those, um, was it the dumplings? Ah, uh, it just looks like a dumpling to me. I don't know why. We have Side Duck there, just being in the, by the riverside. You're gonna have another Litten. This one's gonna be the regular set, a Cosmog. A reverse hollow Pokemon catcher. And we are gonna go ahead and end this off with a Cosmoam. Cosmoam? Cosmom? I don't know. It is the evolution to Cosmog. And I can either turn it into a Sogaleo or a Lunala if I have any of those cards, which I do. I do have a, I think it's part of the diamond set or prism set, I wanna say prism. Part of the prism set, uh, a Lunala. Am I gonna play? Probably not. We're gonna go ahead and dig into the last two that we have. These are going to be the sun and moon burning shadows. All right, this one's getting a little bit difficult here. Whew! Very exciting. We're almost near to the end. And like I said, I did end up pulling only that uh, Scented Scorch VMAX. 
I want to go ahead and have this one a metal again, and it's a water. Starting off, we do have a semi pour. Now I have the full evolution for that. We have a soul rock, wishful baton. I think this is a pretty nice one because then from there you can move the three basic energies from that one Pokemon to one of your benched Pokemon. So it's a pretty, pretty neat card to have. I'm actually gonna go ahead and set this one aside to add to my deck. You can have a horsey there. How cute and adorable is this horsey looking? And a Lonely Vopex, a Sneasel, very, very evil looking there. You're gonna have a Venipede, a Sandy Gast, a Reverse Hollow Dewpider, and we're gonna go ahead and finish this off with a, a Lady Anne. This one is from the second generation. However, it is a non-hollow one, so another disappointment there. And here we go, we have the last one. We're gonna go ahead and put all the good magic, good vibes, good energy, good juju, whatever you call it. Good luck to this last set and hope that we get something good out of it. I'm very, very happy with the pulls that I did get from this one. I mean, any VMAX, to be honest, is a win. And then you ended up getting Tyranitar on it. So it's a pretty, pretty good. Look at that. There we go. I want to call it a fire energy. And it's a metal, of course. And then we have a Tormenting Spray. A Charmeleon, which we've pulled before. I mentioned before, I do like the art on this one. Kind of reminds me of those Mario Party games whenever they're running away. You have a Dusclops. A Caterpie sitting there, so adorable, just by the flower. Look at that. I'm still trying to catch a shiny Weedle and a shiny Caterpie. We have a Morlo, a Duskull, an Udish just there in the fields, a Tynamo, not a fan of those, a Rebombi, Reverse Hollow. Look at that with a fairy background and we're gonna go ahead and end this video and end this set with a Persian the original version Persian as there are two and technically three different versions of Meow but there you guys have it if you guys stuck around this long, thank you guys so much. I want to wish you guys a very, very Merry Christmas and a Happy Holidays. Hopefully, you guys get to spend this year with your loved ones and that uh, you got everything that you asked for, everything that you wanted. Please make sure you give the video a thumbs up and make sure you hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any future episodes. Leave in the comments below and see which card was your favorite. Um, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.